have Cheyenne's a fan mail. Yeah. The best package of all. The best? We've gotten better things than her. We've gotten better things than her. No, you're the best. I'll take you any day. It's time to open mail. Hooray, fan mail. Today, we have a lot of packages. But first, Cheyenne has to escape. Come on. Escape the burrito, Cheyenne. Uh, come on. Maybe she likes it in there. Yeah. Well, anyway, oh. we have... Hey! Yay! Yay! Pretty girl! Good job! Yeah, we have lots to open today. Well, I want to, in advance, thank Charles for putting together yet another fan mail video of ours. We are going to try to get through all of this? I don't know. <laughs> Good luck. We still haven't made it to that box because it's mostly Pokemon cards, and that would be a boring opener. I mean, Pokemon cards are awesome, but we're trying to spread them out because <laughs> yes. you guys are too nice and you send us too many Pokemon cards, so I'm trying to spread them out. But we are so thankful for everything, so let's so, get started. Most of the packages from this week came from May. From May? Oh, right. Yep. Yes. Yeah, we have a lot of months to catch yeah, up on. It's July. <laughs> All right, Grace sent us some cool artwork and a cute little note, and kicking it off right, <gasps> two king size Reese's outrageous bars. The first thing we opened. Yeah. Oh That's my Emily's gosh. Favorite candy bar. So thank you so so much. I just feel guilty eating them, but it's delicious. Thank you, Grace. Are they both for me or one for uh, you? It didn't say. It says hi, Emily and Ed, mm. but it doesn't say who the candy went to. Hmm. We'll assume they're both for me. All right. Yeah. <laughs> there isn't a name in this package, but from Gecko Island Toys. Maybe it's from them directly. These really cool decals. They're totally car decals. I break for herps. Nice. Maybe <laughs> we'll actually record ourselves putting these ones on and give the footage to Charles. Maybe <gasps> so we can use it in the video. Thank you, whoever sent these. We just got the most Canadian package I've ever seen. Really? It is awesome. And it was addressed to me. Look at that. It was says, it? It says Ed right oh, there. Okay. First off, Canada stickers for our rack. Oh, that's awesome. And then there's another Canada sticker in here. I need to find it. It's a, like, plastic metal maple leaf. Oh, my God. Yeah. What's that for? Is it a pin? It's, it's a sticker. It can go on our license plate cover, it said. Oh my gosh. And then... We can be Canadian. A crocheted Canada colored snake. Oh my gosh, this is really nice. Holy cow. Yeah, and then oh. a note for you that says, Besides chocolate, you're my favorite. Oh, that is so perfect. I can say this about you. <laughs> Not only that... Oh my gosh. But she sent a, a loony and a toony. Oh my gosh. So $1 and like a $2 coin. A gift package of Canada. Canada. Yeah. Whoa. Paige Lynn, this is the best, eh? Thank you. So Bella sent us a cool note and some questions, but first a joke. What flooring do crocodiles use in their house? I don't know. Rex tiles. <laughs> ah, I get it. Took me a second, but I get it. So some questions she has. What's your big? What's the biggest snake we have? Longest snake right now is probably Noodle, our reticulated python. Heaviest is probably Jupiter, our slightly overweight boa constrictor. What snakes do you think have the coolest pattern? Snakes with the coolest pattern. Oh man, uh, that's a really good question. I like wild type hognose snakes. I just love the patterning of the spots down their Extra backs, spots honestly. they have. Yeah, all the spots and all the blotches and how they can vary even in just wild types. I think that's really cool. And then she sent you some gifts too. Oh, really? First off, sea salt, sorry, intense dark chocolate near deadly squares. I've never even heard of this flavor. Whoa, thank you. And then she sent you <gasps> this little guy. Flareon. Aw, Flareon ah! plushie. Thank you, Bella. She also sent you some Pokemon cards oh that gosh. we can put over in the pile and show off at the and end. Pokemon cards. Thank you so much. This was so sweet of you. I can't wait. I'm going to try one right now. Alexa sent us a dollar. I'm going to put that right into the Rex Funds box. And she said it can go to Rex. And her question for you, Ed, is, will Cheyenne let you hold her? We've only seen Emily hold her. And oh, I just yeah. want to know. Come here. Go. Ugh. Good girl. Hi, stinky girl. Hi, oh, pretty girl. She made all the cards fly. That's my arm. And that's her on it. Proof. Cheyenne only likes Can Ed. Go back He's, to mom? Ed's the only guy she likes. Other than him, she's scared of men. And even that, she just tolerates me. But that's oh, what most women do. she loves you. <laughs> yeah, right. 
That's how I knew Ed was a keeper. Yeah, I bribed her with food. Mm -hmm. it took like three months. But I bribed then... Emily with food too. Chocolate. That's how I married her. Mm -hmm. So take lessons, guys. Thank you, Bella. And... Thank you. And Alexis. And Alexis. Tatum was bored, so he sent this note. And I love it. Tatum, you sent so many fun things. It wasn't just a boredom note, I don't think. You sent us a $2 bill. You, you never see these. You sent us, uh, I think it's a shark tooth. It's really cool. It's got spikes on the side. And he sent us a ton of legendary holographic oh, Pokemon cool cards. Guy. Yeah, look at all these. Thank you so much for all these amazing cards. You didn't have to do that. Kelsey sent you a dollar. Aw, thank you, Kelsey. You don't... And... Guys, hey, stop sending us money! Bag of candies. Ooh, I'm okay with candies, though. Amazing Pokemon cards. Holy cow! Like, look at all these Pokemon cards. Look how shiny they are. Whoa! So shiny. Look at that golden Amistar. Oh my gosh. Is That's there... sweet. I've never seen cards like this before. No, neither have I. Thank you, Kelsey. Awesome. Thank you, Kelsey. That's so nice of you. Well, Elliot sent us $5 for our reptiles. Guys, yeah. you don't have to send us cash. Keep this yourselves. You're you're too nice. We don't deserve this. I promise it will go to our animals, though. I'll put it in Rex's fish funds. There's a couple other dollars from tonight in there. We have a lot, actually. We're going to have to buy her some new toys yeah, soon and will. use it on there. Uh, my favorite animal you have is Cheyenne. <gasps> you're Elliot's favorite. Say hi, Cheyenne. <whistles> there you go. That was her version of hi. What would happen if I threw the bouncy ball at the projector wall? It would bounce back towards you or hit me in the back of the head. Ooh, I think sweet. you should try it. Oh my gosh, that almost killed you. Oh, I'm glad that didn't whack me in the back of the head. What's Rex's favorite toy? Maisie wants to know. Let's go on a field trip. Rex! Oh, it's really dark down here. Ed just put all these lights on a new switch that he can control from his phone. That was just today. UVB. Oh, awesome. And basking. Wow, you did just turn on all the lights. That's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, Rex's favorite toy is that blue ball right there. It looks like she already killed it. It's already sunk. Followed closely by that black bowl. Smile, Rex! So, Randy from Alexandria, Minnesota, Ooh, not local. too far away from us, sent us a Junior Pet Care Snakes book from 1990. So, Whoa. maybe we'll have to go through that and see if anything's changed in 30 years. I was gonna say, it's your age. Yeah, that's when that's, uh, was born. that's when I was born. This is gonna be an epic book. Yeah, oh my maybe. gosh. Sophia, thank you for watching our channel and thank you for sending the reptiles a dollar for treats. I have a feather test for you. Uh, I have them gray. Wow, nice. Yeah. yeah, okay. How about. I either have to do jokey or I have to do super serious. Okay, how about this? I have them gray. How about this? Blue and gold. Yeah, they're macaw and African gray feathers from Alicia and Tyler. Nice. Thank you. We're gonna stick this African gray primary flight feather right in front. They also sent us a really pretty necklace. Wow. Oh, wow, that is really pretty. Put that on right now. Thank you guys, that's really nice of you. Mary sent us a package. Do you want white or black? White. White. So here's your necklace and here's mine. Oh, yin it's and a yin yang. and yang. Aw, and they connect. Yep. Best friends. Forever. Yeah, but she also sent you a bla a box with a blast from the past in it. You ready? From like the 90s? Really? Yep. Is it blow pens? Furby? Sparkly plastic shoes? Butterfly hair clips? Bell bottoms? Tamagotchis? Beanie Babies. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen Beanie Babies in so long. I have all of my- oh my gosh, and a Perry one! Are these all ones relating to our animals? I think so. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so blast from the past, Beanie Babies. She Whoa. mentioned you said you liked Beanie Babies in a video. Yeah, yeah I you got used all to collect my bears. Them. Yep. Thank you. This is bringing back so many fond memories. Yeah, so thank Good you, job. Mary, for the- the wonderful note, the necklace, and all the Beanie Babies. Amanda sent us the Conjuring 2. That's a scary, that a scary movie. I think it's a scary movie. She says, do not watch at night. It, it must be a right, scary, so I've never we're seen not that. Watching it at all. Well, Breckett, on the other hand, sent us something from California. Him and his mom made pottery and they apparently made us a hog nose snake. Aw, whoa, that looks amazing. Yeah, they even did like scale definition. Breckett, mom, Breckett, you did a great job on that. Thank you for sending it to us. And also thank you for The Conjuring too. I didn't mean to gloss over it. Thank you for that. I'm just nervous to watch it. Aw, Jaybird sent a very cute picture of her bearded dragon on a leash and a derpy hognose snake sketch and some great Pokemon cards. There's Croc Rock, there's Vaporeon, and 
Oh my gosh. Whoa. This is an epic Charizard card. Oh my gosh, there's like sparkly things even in the background of the sparkliness. Look, this is Mega Charizard. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you so much, Jaybird. That's a crazy cool card. Dara from Ireland sent you a snake. Aw, what a cute little plush snake. Thank you, Dara. Do you remember when Hunter from Oshkosh sent us a Lego version of me? He has now made a Lego version of you. You have a mug for your tea and a camera in your other hand. Nice. That is you in Lego form. My hair got longer since then, but that looks pretty close. Yeah, it needs a haircut, so we, you need yeah. a haircut like this dude has. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. We also got a uh, whole parcel from Abby and her sister Carly from Newfoundland, Canada. Whoa. They sent us a Canadian gift box, all foods that are only found in Newfoundland, I guess. A lot of Canadian stuff today. So this like is so cool. Original cream crackers. I've never heard we'll of those. We'll have to try those. Whoa. And then some peppermint knobs. Peppermint knobs? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, one yep. Of the, one of their favorite candies to eat. Okay. And then apparently they sent syrup, raspberry syrup that That's... you add water to and make a drink. That sounds very Canadian. He said you add a little bit of water to it or else it'll be very, very sweet. Oh, I bet. I bet that's so, so concentrated. So these are all things we're going to have to try. You should and drink it straight. You should take a sip. She sent me a shirt. The Oh my gosh, Abby. And she's got a snake on the oh. back too. Yeah. Whoa. So. That is perfect for you, Ed. So do you think I should try Abby. some syrup? Yeah, you should try a sip. Yeah, you need to dilute. That would actually taste really good with uh, sparkling water. Thank you, Abby. Do you want to try some crack cream crackers? Yes, we should. Whoa, they do I taste like, like they're like cakey saltine crackers. Mm -hmm. Wow. You want to try a bite? Take a bite. There you go. Mmm. Are you going to make a huge mess? <laughs> Thanks, Cheyenne. Want another bite? There you go. Mmm. Oh, Cheyenne loves them too. Are you a Canadian at heart? Mmm. Yeah. I have to get to try the syrup. I have to try it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's thick. Yeah, it's like super thick. It's li it's like syrup. Yep. Yeah, we'll don't drink that straight. <laughs> we'll have to try that with, with some sparkling water, I think. Well, we might as well try the knobs. Let's eat the knobs. This reminds me of Christmas here. Mm-hmm. There's something I eat during Christmas time. It must be those same things you were talking about. Yeah, the soft, or well, candy canes. Oh, really good. We need to move to Canada. Mm-hmm. Canada's got some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for the Canadian package. Yeah, thank you, Abby. No, no, I can't figure out who this is from, but there's oh, snake discovery masks. That's awesome. I mean, we're wearing masks everywhere yeah, nowadays. True. Sweet. Now we can do branding on our face. Whoever sent these, this is a very thoughtful gift. Thank you so much. There you go. Sweet. Thank you, Anonymous. So Brianna from San Antonio, Texas, we were there once. Yeah, we were. That was kind of cool. That's as far west as we made it because we were going to go west further, but it was too big of a state. We didn't want to do that. Yeah, Texas is freaking huge. Yes. I had no idea went, until we were driving it. Exactly. She sent us also some really cool things. Oh my gosh. We got this guy. Oh, that, that's different than the one we have. Yeah. And then maybe... Oh, we got him again. Ah! That's so great! Oh, that one's yours, I mean, that one's ours. I obviously opened the box, so these are both mine. I don't know. No. I think we have to share those. Oh, no, we don't have to share anything. Brianna, thank you so yeah, much. We you. love Rick and Morty. Now we have a set! Yeah! Well, now we can leave some in the box. Mm-hmm. Because we took the other ones out and they're on my desk. Oh, yeah. Well, these can go on my desk when we get the facility up oh, and running. Oh, perfect! Thank awesome. you, Brianna. Thank you, Brianna. Over here I have from Brendan. He sent two dollars. And it actually says money for some candy. Aw. So I will have to buy some chocolate with this. Thank you, Brendan. Amazon box. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh in it. Stroop waffles! Oh, nice. Oh, the chocolate and caramel! Hi, Emily. Enjoy your gift. These are great warmed up. And look for a pack of chocolate digestions. <gasps> I Ooh. found them on Amazon, too, and got them from Cindy. Uh, Cindy, thank you. You found my favorite goodies from Europe. 
Thank you. I would not have known what the Stroop waffles or the digestive digestives were if it weren't for you awesome fans. So you got me hooked on something that I can't find. Thank you, Cindy, for finding these yet again. Lily, thank you for all of the Baby Yoda stickers. Oh my gosh, these are super cute. We can, oh my gosh, look at that. We can totally put these on the racks. Thank you. Esme sent you her favorite rubber snake. Aww, oh cool. That's a cool one. That that's, might be, that's like really realistic. Yeah, maybe we could use that in programs. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Props to Micaiah from the Reptile Rant YouTube channel, who's awesome at answering questions in the comments, by the way. I appreciate you answering so many questions in our videos. Uh, I just want to point out this epic python drawing on the envelope. Thank you for sending us this and pictures of your own pythons. I'll include these at the end. And thank you for the dollar for our animals. You're amazing. Lorelai and Jocelyn and family sent you a couple dollars. They're from Hawaii, by the way. So they sent you a couple dollars. Aw, thank you. That's really nice. And a ton of candy. Oh my gosh, yeah. look at all that. I said, don't eat it all all at once. Oh, I can't promise I won't yeah. do that. And Lorelai also is asking, will Doug breed this year? Yes, we are actually trying to pair Doug with Jupiter right now. They're in the cage together, and he really likes hers. He I'm does. just going to leave it at that. So our fingers are crossed. We're actually going to get Jupiter a radiograph uh, later this week to see if anything is going on and to check on her fat levels yeah so, um yeah so hopefully doug will breed this year so fingers crossed yes definitely and thank you so much for yeah. all the chocolate thank you lorelei jocelyn and family thank you i have from i think ellie may or eleanor i kind of can read it she has a snake shed challenge for you what do you think this is it's from her snake i'll show you a picture of the corn snake. snake not a corn snake <laughs> Nope. Look at the size. That's bigger than a corn snake. Yeah, but it could be a really big fat corn snake. Could be, but it's not. Oh, is that a bull snake? It is! Here's her bull snake! Aww. Good job, you guessed it. Mel sent us a pretty cool gift that I'll get to in a second. She uh, is wondering, she's never seen anybody have garter snakes as a pet. Which really? Which is very interesting because garter snakes make awesome pets, mainly because they're so active, which is really cool just to... It's like a fish tank. You know, fish constantly move. They constantly move. Yeah. She's wondering, hypothetically speaking, if someone were to encourage local snakes onto their property, what items would you recommend they provide Ooh. in their area? Ooh. If you want to encourage snakes on your property, you can leave the grass a bit longer, and you can leave piles of rocks or piles of logs. Snakes love to crawl in and out of yep. those, especially gives them, garters. Gives them a good place to hide and get away from predators. She uh, wants to send her con condolences about Nearly Headless Nick, and she Aww. sent you... An awesome little necklace. Oh, that's Nick. Thank you so much for this. This is really nicely made. Oh, I can't wait to put this on. We do miss Nick. Nick yeah. was an amazing snake. Um, we learned a lot, though, taking care of him, and we're glad that we were able to have the opportunity to have him for as long as we did. And we'll always love garter snakes. Oh, and we'll never forget him. This is beautiful. Thank you, Mal. She also sent you a cool little hog nose decal for your car. Aww, yeah. a cute hog nose. Oh, it's uh. going on the window. Ooh, another Emily sent us $3 for Rex. Thank you so much. She also sent her like entire itinerary of her vacation, which is great. Thank you. That was fun to read. Sorry, Emily. This will be a little hard to open. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, it was pretty easy to open. <laughs> I would have struggled with that, I bet. Ah, oh, they sent you a crunch bar and hot chocolate. Thank you, Maureen. Maureen! Oh my gosh, Maureen. look at the back. Maureen. From my homegirls. Yes, Maureen, that is great. Oh, she also has some questions. Uh, where did you grow up in Minnesota, Emily? I grew up in Woodbury, Minnesota, right on the border between Minnesota and Wisconsin. Okay, what's your favorite overall animal? Uh, hyacinth macaw. All right. Ed, where did you grow up? I grew up in Hudson, Wisconsin. And favorite snake species and favorite frog species? Uh, my favorite snake species is probably the Plains hognose snake. Favorite frog species? I really like Amazon milk frogs. They're really growing yeah. on me. I can't believe you think Wisconsin is boring. Have you seen my state, North Dakota? 75% of the country doesn't even know what North Dakota is. I really want a pet snake and countless other, rep uh, other animals, but my mom is empathetic towards rodents. And my dad doesn't, won't allow any new pets. Since we have a cat, my dad sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I like your take on things, Maureen. Also, a big shout out to her mom. 
who is going through breast cancer for the oh. second time. Oh my so, gosh. We wish you all the best, We Maureen. wish you all the best, lo best, and we're sending out all our love to you guys. So guess what Viola found being sold on Morph Market? Crocodilians. Ugh. Yeah, they're selling crocodilians now what on kind? Morph Market. I don't know. It doesn't say, but... Uh, Crocodilians are too easy to get as pets. Unfortunately, Wisconsin, there's a place that sells alligators, and we do not agree with that, so they'll probably all end up in rescues. But on the plus side, I did want to thank you so much for the cute artwork and for sending us $5. This will go to our crocodilian Rex, who is, go figure, a rescue, so we can give her a nice treat. Thank you so much. Bridge sent you an awesome note and some really cool play work. Those are really neat. Yeah. It's a hog nose. It was upside down the entire time. Oh, look, that one's a black-tailed Kribo. It's got a black head with blue eyes and a black tail. Cool. Pull it off. There you go. Yay. <laughs> it's nearly headless Nick. Aw, cute. Yep. Oh, it's a Packer version. It's a Packer version of nearly headless, headless Nick. Nick. Wow, and the rat made a really good Cheyenne yeah, toy. And Cheyenne liked destroying yes, that. Thank you. What do you have over there? I have a, a too nice of a gift from Elizabeth. Guys, stop sending us cash. You are too nice. Elizabeth sent us $10 wow. for Rex. She said, give the $10 to Rex. Elizabeth asks, how do you take care of your snakes? I'm assuming, how do you take care of so many snakes? Wow. We have a schedule of on Thursday, we get some help from a couple wonderful friends of ours who they come over, we spend about five hours feeding and cleaning all of our animals. That's a Thursday thing. And then on Monday, I spend a few hours just myself kind of doing midweek cleanings. So we kind of do everything on two days during the week. And that takes care of most of the, most of the reptile work. Yep. So, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Bella sent us a blast from the past. Oh, Pop, Pop Rocks. Rocks. I can hear it from over here. I doubt the camera can pick it up, but... Yeah, probably not. Thanks, Bella! So, Elena from Alaska sent you... Ghirardelli Ooh. chocolates! Ooh. Uh, sea salt caramel eggs and caramel bunnies. Oh my gosh, those look amazing! Oh my god! Good? I mean, no, you wouldn't want to eat any of these eggs. None? Okay. Nope. Thank you, Elena. Whoa! So, Mallory, Meowlery Designs, sent us these awesome ball python pins. Oh, they're yeah, in little hearts. They're in little hearts. So, here you go. Aww. <laughs> these are adorable. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, I'm putting them on. Cut to Emily having them on. All right, Emily got them all on. Hooray! These are really nice pins. Yeah, they are. They're heavy duty. Uh, yeah, if you want to try to do some merch designs, email us. I have ideas Maybe. that need designing. There we go. You might be And if person. anybody's interested, go check her out on all of these platforms. I have an interesting one. That's never good. <laughs> I have a letter and a really cool artwork Whoa, piece. Whoa, that's from trippy. Joan. Joanne? Joan? And then I think their parents sent me, I can't show it on camera, but they sent me a check for $5 to Snake Discovery. I feel bad depositing that. I feel so bad depositing that because we didn't, I don't feel like we deserved that. Well, thank you. I love the artwork. I don't know if I'd have beautiful. the heart to deposit the check, but the thought is very nice. But thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's Pokemon card time. Woo! They, oh my gosh, guys. You sent us so many amazing cards. Paige sent us shiny Azumarill, which is also shiny in the card. And, oh my gosh, look at that superior. And I've, uh, this is the first time tonight that we have seen this style of holographic card, but it's really cool. Thank you, Paige. Ava sent us some amazing holographics too, including a holographic Sylveon. I love it. Raylan sent us, oh my gosh, an Incineroar and my favorite Pokemon of all, Umbreon and Darkrai. That's a really cool combo. Lily sent us Vulpix for our fox snakes, which, uh, fun fact, the scientific name for Red Fox is Vulpes Vulpes, which is how Vulpix gets its name, FYI, kind of fun. And, oh my gosh, look at that. There is a shiny, or a, a rather, a holographic Charizard EX card. Oh my gosh. Connor sent us a whole pile of cool cards. I ha I don't have a name on this one, but check out these cuties. Courtney sent us an Ekans and a Hop Hip. Cassidy sent us a whole pile of cards, including a very realistic looking slacking. 
Eleanor has sent us some fun ones. I love Lapras. Lapras is another one of my favorites. Jake sent some cool cards too. I love Growlithe. Look at this. Oh, there's a Pikachu. This person preferred not to have their name on camera, but I guess there's a Sylveon theme going on today. We've got one here and one down here. Look at these two. And finally, Sammy sent us some fun cards too from the original 150. Thank you so much for these cards, everyone. Next, we have pet photos. Oh, look at this. Someone has an African dwarf frog. And actually, someone here sent us a bunch of laminated um, pictures of their reptiles with their names on the back, which is adorable. You have some really cool reptiles, guys. So we're getting to the end of our two-hour unboxing. And sometimes packages come in that are just so intriguing to us that we can't wait and open it in order with everything else. I mean, we did it once when there was perishable on it and there yeah. was a freezer pack and we had to open it right away. Yeah. And we're breaking our rule tonight for a second time. For some boxes, we got, we got two big boxes that say part one and part two. And here they are. Part one. We. And, and part, part two. Part one. There's yeah. plush. <gasps> No way. What? No way. That is a huge stuffed animal. Whoa. Yeah, read the note, I guess, first. Okay. Do not read until both boxes have been opened. All right. Never mind. Don't read the note, I guess. That is amazing. Oh that my god. That might gosh. be the favorite thing, my favorite thing we've ever gotten. Holy cow. There you go, Charizard. And we got Rex. Aw. He's got a little bit of an upturned snout. Oh my gosh, it is actually Rex, too. And a bunch of Pokemon figures. Miniatures! Eevee, Espeon, Vaporeon. Do you see a theme here? Leafeon, Glaceon, and the best of them all, Umbreon. Nice. That is awesome. Whoa. And there's me amongst all of the Pokemans. <laughs> the master to the trainer of yep. them all. That, that would be me if I was a 10 year old and we lived in the Pokemon world. Me with my teacup and my poke. I'm the Pokemon Snap guy. <gasps> you are. What's his name? Tracy? Tracy. Yeah. Coasters. <sighs> That's awesome. Green tree coasters. That is epic. Is it a, is it this a is towel? This is a dish towel. Nice. This is my new favorite dish towel, I think. Uh -huh. I'll take that. It says my Aww, name on it for me for only. Uh -huh. Well, that's okay because I have one too. Nice. <laughs> This looks like a belt buckle. Oh my gosh. Here, take the towel off. Ah, got it. I got it. Oh, it is a belt buckle. Oh, oh it's a, a snakey belt, belt buckle. buckle. Hang on. I'll be right back. Oh, it fits perfectly. Nice. Oh my gosh. That's like super shiny. Yeah, it is. Epic new belt buckle. Oh my gosh. And there's even more. There's a lot more. Oh, there's something for Cheyenne. Aww. Well, oh, that's cool. Wow. Let's hang that in her room. That's beautiful. We could put this on her window. Yeah. Give, give it a kiss. Give, give it a kiss. kiss. Good Aww, girl. she did. And one more for one part more. one. Yeah, just from part one. Oh, that's cool. I can see what they are. Oh. Well, those are like fancy pens. That's insane. I can't believe you sent us so many good things. What do you think's in part two? I have no idea. What in the world is that? That's something that takes up the entire box. Yes, this is all for one thing. Whoa. Can you see it? I can see something. Dear Ed and Emily, this gift is a load of croc. Thought this <laughs> might go well in your new zoo. From Lee and Tyne. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That's huge. Wow, that's like super tall too. Oh my gosh. It's a crocodile. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll definitely use that at the facility. Yes, this is being used at our facility. The macaw sun catcher is for Cheyenne to hang in her window or wherever is safest to be sparkly lights for her. She seems to like shiny things like Ed. The belt buckle is for Emily's collection. We didn't know which ones you already had. Hope this is a new one. This is a new one. The alligator stuffed animal was just something we passed in the store and had to buy. We thought it might bring a smile to your faces and it could look cute at the new zoo. Absolutely! That was so sweet of you to think of us when you saw it. The coasters are because Ed loves green tree pythons and we thought they looked cool. Yeah, yeah they, they do. Awesome. The towel immediately made us think of you guys, so we thought you had to have it. You are so nice, guys. The pens are because they are shiny and snakes, and Ed gets so many pens, so clearly he needed more. Oh, sweet. Those are mine. Oh, oh, yep, these are yours. Yes. These are yours. The chocolate is Tyne's favorite from Belgium, and Tyne ate all the milk chocolate before we managed to get it packed in the box. Hope you like dark chocolate. 
I love dark chocolate. Dark Time, chocolate that was, was that was okay. I'd be happy to share with you anyway. <laughs> we are big Pokemon fans, so the giant Charizard is because we see how happy you guys get in the mail openings when you see a Charizard. Hence the giant plush and the whole Charizard evolutionary line. We don't know if you guys actually like Pokemon or are just trying to be... We, no, love, we Pokemon. love Pokemon. It's No, we're not acting. Ed's wearing a Pokemon shirt right now, if you I haven't am. noticed yet. In I this am wearing video. a Pokemon <laughs> shirt. And of course, the giant alligator statue is for your new zoo. Congrats on that, by the way. We didn't open the alligator when it arrived for fear of breaking it, so we hope it arrived in one piece. Yes, it did. Yeah, it looks perfect. I think it made it just fine. It yeah. looks great. It's been a crazy year for all of us, and your videos have consistently brought smiles to our faces, even when the world was on fire. Literally and figuratively. Aww. <laughs> Lee and Tyne, you are way too generous. I'm speechless. It's like a scavenger hunt for gifts. I don't feel like we deserved all of this, but you are so, so thoughtful, both of you. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all of these gifts. Thank you to everyone for sending all of your thoughtful and generous and artistic gifts. We do read each and every one of your letters that you sent us and all of your gifts are truly appreciated. Even if we're not able to include everything in the video, we love all of it and you are so thoughtful everybody. Thank you of course to our Patreon backers as well. We are so fortunate to have so many supporters in our lives. Do you realize that? Yeah. We are so lucky to have the support that we do. We love anybody, everybody who watches the videos, sends us stuff, supports us on Patreon. You guys are all amazing. Yes, thank you to everyone for making this channel what it's become. Also, thank you, Charles. Thank you, Charles, for editing this video as well. You are amazing, as always. We love all the effort you put into all these videos. Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you next time.